Come grab the kids, let's go. I want it really bad. I'm just hoping the three of them get on. I, I have a feeling they're going to whip out. You ready? Ready, ready, ready. I'm not ready. Can we just sit up here and pretend? Yeah! There's a balloon. I don't see balloons. I started to enjoy the ride. Then I realized, wait a minute, I have balloons. I have to throw these things down and hit these targets. There's no way to look back to see if you're hitting targets because you got to prepare for the next one. It's definitely more difficult than it looks. Looks like Jen Coot is the only one that hit a target. Good job. All right, let's get the next group down here. Nobody's coming down for me, so. We'll go yes, they will. yes, they will. They will. No, they will. Yeah, they will. They're not coming down. Yeah, they Wait, will. I was walking up the stairs to get to the harness, and I was like, OK, I'm not doing this. That looks very scary. I'm not doing that. Come on. Silvio, your son's whipping out! Blake, you could do it, man. You could do it. No, it, it's really, it looks really high from here. You could do it, Blake. I can, but I don't want to. Blake, just do it, man. Yeah. We're screwed. Yeah. That looks very scary. I'm not doing that. It'll be fun, I promise. Blake, he didn't want to let me down, but he was really scared. I was saying to myself, so you got to do this. You got to show that you're strong. Don't show him that you're scared also. Just do it, man. I don't want to know. Just do it. They ain't going to let you die. Go ahead, do it. He's got a point. Go ahead, my man. Blake, just hold on. Close your eyes. That, then I'm going to miss every target. It don't matter. Blake, I bet you get two of them, man. I think so. They'll nail two. This is very steep, actually, and I really don't want to do this. You could do it. That was actually really surprising when my dad actually came up to help me, because my dad's not really the type of dad who would do that. But I'm going to take one for the team. Here come the kids. It looks like Jake hit one, Ansley hit one, and Blake hit two. Good job, Blake. Good job. So proud of you. I was chicken one. <laughs> <laughs> well I am done, so man. proud of you. Oh, Who'd you hit? I hit Ansley's oh, yeah. face. That was like my target. Like I just <laughs> saw his face. I just went, wham. <laughs> I was scared to death. I really did overcome my fear because I did something I didn't even want to do. Oh my, that was like that was the greatest moment of my life. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's get Mason, Aaron, and Cassidy down here. So we got nothing so far. Can't tell. Ansley got one, I think. It's the anticipation that's freaking me out. Just sitting here waiting. That was totally bugging me out. I'm safe, right? Perfectly 100% safe. Just want to hit the targets, get this over with, because not a fan of heights. It's terrible. Feeling good? Yep. All right, with the older kids coming in, it looks like only Aaron and Mason hit targets. Way to go. Wasn't it awesome? Dude, you had a good time? Yeah. Were you scared when you were standing up there? Oh, when they were strapping me in, yeah. Yeah. Is Dad doing it? He's going to do it. He has to. 
I'm really petrified, but I gotta do it for the family. If they did it, I have to do it. It won't look good if I jump out right now. <laughs> So we're going down there, we're going down wearing purple war paint. We're going to the bottom and hit all five targets. You don't really know what the score is. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do something to, uh, you know, bring home a victory. I think we're doing pretty good. It's hard to tell, you know. Can't hardly tell, you know, for the distance. Like, it's hard for me to see. I'm all right, but I'm on four. Yeah. You sure, man? No, you're OK. You're good. You guys got adult pampers up here? I'm from the Bronx. I my pants like a little girl. We're getting a countdown. Man, this is close. It is still anyone's game. There is only one point separating the families. Silvio's going. He's doing it. I'm shocked. They're right there. Right <laughs> He's going back. What am I doing, man? <laughs> Come and get me, man. I'm scared. Get me out of here. They're coming. Get me out of here. Yeah! yeah! All right. Phil, yeah. I'm so proud of you. Proud of you. I am. What do you smell what's in my pants? So, uh, you had a good time? Everybody do it again? Never. No, yeah. I yes. Yes. No, no way. Yeah. Yes. No way. Well, let's get to it. The scores have all been tallied. And the Pollards, you scored two points, which means you are going to be in the bottom two. I'm sorry. So it's down to you two families, all right? For the DeSalvatores, Silvio, I know you were scared, but you managed to hit one on the way down, bringing your score to four. The Coots, you scored two points. The blood rushed straight to my brain. My eyes went blank. I saw these little dots. I just wanted to grab my family. And real quick, Blake's two was what won it. I was scared to death. I really did overcome my fear, because one, I won the challenge, and two, I did something I didn't want to do. Blake did it. Any time in life, all he has to do is think about this one time that he did it, and he could do anything he wants. You got your crown. You are the new king of the road. <laughs> and you are guaranteed a spot in the final challenge where you will compete for the $100,000 grand prize. And to the Coots and the Pollards, we will see you at the next end of the road challenge where this vacation will end for one of your families. You guys have come a long, long way, but only one of you two will be competing with the DeSalvatores in the final challenge for $100,000. But fantastic job, everybody. Can I give you a kiss, Reno? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Oh, you, you guys all did a great job. Let's get going. <laughs> waiting so long for this thing. I am so proud of Blake for getting over his fear of the zip line. For him to get up there and do that and then just drop those two on the targets, that just made for a perfect ending to a perfect day for us. I can't believe we finally got a crown. Blake was dying for a crown, so for him to be the one to really win it for us, it was, it was priceless. This one crown is more important than any five of them. This win means that I have a guarantee for a chance to win $100,000. So I'm like, I'm really psyched. We made it to the end, even being in the bottom the whole time. It's like the tortoise and the hare. We're like the tortoise who takes forever, but <laughs> ends up winning. How's that crowd feel, Blake? Amazing. Amazing. 